What up, Mikey's crew? It's your good friend Michael here, and we're here for another race today. This one is in Allegan. It's the Allegan Strides for Health 5K. You might remember last year I uh, did this race, but I could not run it because you remember I fell off my bike and broke my arm. So that was the reason why I could not do this race last year. I, I did it, but I walked it. I walked as fast as I could. So I was like 38 minutes, I think, for that. Or maybe, yeah, I think that was about my time. But this year, I'm back to running it. Um, Time-wise today, don't know really how well I'm going to do. I had vacation uh, last week, and I really didn't run a whole lot during that week. Uh, just kind of took it easy, chilled out, and relaxed. Got back into running again this week. So probably not going to run into any times like in the 20s, but I'd still like to try to you know, run something between about 21 and 21.59 is what I'm looking at. So this would give me an opportunity to try to work on that, you know, be a little bit slower in the beginning of a run and faster in the end of a run. So when I do get some of that speed back, I can kind of pace myself like that because instead of going out too fast and then feeling like I'm holding on in the end, which is what I felt like I was doing in, in quite a few races actually earlier this year. So we're going to work on trying to pace myself a little bit better. And I figure why not start uh, now with that. Temperatures today are pretty good. We're going to be in the 60s for this run. Um, we had some real heat and humidity earlier in the week. We're going to have some heat and humidity next week as well. But in between that, scrunched right in there. We've got some cool weather here today. So not going to be a lot of humidity, not going to be a lot of wind either. Yesterday was a really breezy day when I was out running. Today we've got uh, very little if no wind whatsoever. Clouds in the, in the sky, but also the sun is out as well. That's why I'm wearing my sunglasses. Um, we had some fog coming here. I think most of that might have probably burned off by now, so we won't have to worry about any fog out on the course either. Still wearing the row of the boat shirt, of course, during this running season, and for today's race, my number is 1464. So we're expecting about 190 people for this event today. At least that's what I saw online, how many had registered. 191 people, plus there's people that are probably signing up today as well. Not sure everyone that's you know registered is gonna be able to run or make it here today, but that's at least the numbers that I saw online. So pretty good turnout uh, for this event because last year we had 187 from looking at last year's results. So that's how many people were able to do this last year. Um, Kevin, Kevin and Matt, they're not here this year. Matt's not running, Kevin's not here to cheer me on. I don't know what those guys are doing. Obviously, they're not here, though. Come on, guys. Where are they're you helping, at? They're helping the, uh, Dave, remember? Oh, I was trying to play it off as a joke, but then again, you ruined it. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's, it's fine. Not that big of a deal. So I'm looking forward to running in this event today. It's going to be a lot of fun. They got a kids' fun run uh, after we run the 5K. I'll show you the shirt in just a minute. We, they got a kids' run after they run the 5K. The kids' fun run is free this year, so that's awesome that the kids are going to get to run for free. They're going to have superhero capes that they're going to wear as well. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that's cool. They got free health screenings here as well. That's why it's called the Allegan Strides for Health. We're running, obviously, to uh, to be healthy, to be well, active. Well, one of us is, but... And, oh, geez, yeah, you had to throw yourself in there, didn't you? <laughs> and, yeah, we're running to be healthy, be active, and... Uh, be um try to get other people to get involved in that too right kathleen yep yeah okay <laughs> all right so i'm going to show you out the shirt i really like the color the the dark blue color for it this year it looks really nice it says uh allegan strides for health and i think last year if i remember correctly it was their 10th year anniversary for this race so this is year 11 for it got the shoes in here and like i said it says allegan strides for health it, it is a tech shirt it's a little bit different texture than what um, you're you're kind of used to this one is definitely a different material of the texture than this uh, You can feel it, but it still has the same moisture wicking properties and then on the back you've got uh, your sponsors for today's race All right, so we're uh, gearing up for the race here. I've got about 10 minutes before we start I'm gonna go do a little bit of warm-up run You'll see the, the start of the race then you'll see me finish, and then we'll talk about the race afterwards. Same course, by the way, as always. I should mention that. Um, I almost didn't mention the course, but same course. We're going to start right here on this on this street right here. I think this is called Lynn Street from what I heard. Um, then we're going to go out to the right almost immediately. Uh, we're not going to – it's about maybe <laughs> 200 meters maybe, and then you make a right-hand turn. You go straight for uh, maybe about a quarter mile or so. You're going to cross the main road, 
and then you're going to actually for about the, re the rest of the first mile is a big big long stretch and then after that you'll start winding through the neighborhoods of uh, Allegan. There is a little bit of hills in there but they're more rolling hills and like uphill so you've got rolling downhill and rolling uphill so nothing too bad out there. It's a pretty easy course to run and then the last mile um, you're going to follow some of the same, same course you did during the first mile uh, as well. So we'll see you at the start of the race. And if you can see behind you there's some kids that have the, uh, the capes. That's the kids run. Fun run. You can see that. And that'll run, that'll start after we do the 5k. Yep. Okay, girl, go, 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 go. Hey, go, Mike, go. Look at everybody running. Yeah, they're coming strong and fast. One, two, here comes third. Big guy. Good job. Thanks. Back now with the uh, recap of the Strides for Health 5K. It was a good race today. It definitely was. Um, I definitely beat, beat, beat my goal of getting between 21 and 21.59, and I was on the very low end of that spectrum. I ended up running, according to my watch unofficially, 21.10, and the course was exactly 3.1 miles. So this, this thing was measured out, which is very great. Um, because I think it was last last year. I might not have. No, I think I had the watch last year. Did I? I don't remember. No, I might not have had the watch no, yet. No, I don't yeah, think you did. I didn't have the watch yet for this last year because I got it at Thanksgiving. That's right. I remember that now. But anyways, um, it was great out there. There was definitely some places where you got good shade on the course, so you definitely were not in the sun a whole lot of time when you were out there running. And first mile, uh, first quarter mile actually, because that's. I wanted to measure my time by the quarter mile mark to see if I was on right where I needed to be. And I was a little fast at the quarter mile mark. I wanted to be around 145, which would have put me on about a seven minute pace. And I ran a little bit faster than that each mile, um, which, was, which was good because I felt fine. But first quarter was uh, 136, so I had to tell myself to back off just a little bit. And then after that I started passing people in the first mile, but not because I was speeding up just because they had started out a little too quickly. Then after that, I was running with uh, a gal, I think her, I think her name's Tracy, um, basically all the way to the two mile mark. We kept good pace with each other. And once we got to the two mile mark, I just was like, okay, we're just gonna go for it. We're gonna pick it up here like I, like I said I wanted to. There wasn't really anybody in front of me to catch. They were a little bit too far in front of me. So I was just like, keep her behind me, keep my pace going fast, which I felt good doing. There was definitely a little bit of an incline for the last half mile coming to the finish line, which slowed my pace down a little bit. But once we got turned around the corner, coming right back to the start finish line, I kicked it in. I had a pretty good kick, if you noticed there. Uh, 
at the end of that race. I had 39 seconds actually for the last point one, and usually for me it's about 45 seconds. So I mean, I shaved about six seconds off there, and I think that's because I'd been going out uh, too fast within those uh, first few miles of the race. So my splits actually today were 649. Uh, 650 no 650 649 and 652 so very very consistent I was very happy with that for the race instead of you know going out way too fast running like a 615 620 and then dropping all the way back to 650 and then back into like the seven minute marks we kept it pretty consistent today which I was very very happy with because um, I mean I felt good really the whole race I mean I felt tired I mean because if you, if you feel too good that means you didn't go out fast enough but I felt, you know, good enough where I could, you know, keep this pace consistently and come across the finish line with a good time. So we're going to check and see where I finished overall, what place I got in my age group. When I looked online last night, there were only two people registered in my age group. There might have been some more that showed up today and did it. Um, but we'll see. There's a squirrel here. Mascot squirrel, by the way. Not Dollar is his name. Yeah. He's Do from Chemical Do Bank. Yep, that's right. Dollar from Chemical Bank is here. I gave him a high five. I am still sweating after finishing. I swear I sweat more after the race than I do during the race. I don't know why that is. Um, and I should have wore my midnight mile headband, which I didn't, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. The sweat didn't really bother me during the race. It's just bothering me right now after the race. I can feel it kind of getting my eyes. So like I said, great, you know, not my best time, but definitely very happy um, getting a really consistent time today. We're going to work on that speed and definitely try to get back under uh, 21 minutes. I'd you know, I'd still like to try to beat 2040 this year for that's my best time. And uh, <laughs> let's see, my best time ever is 1908. So we got to really work to get that. But otherwise, it's it's around uh, 20, 2007, I believe, is my best time that's not under uh, 21 minutes. So we're going to try to work on being more consistent like I was today. So we'll go over and see what time we ended up getting. And then afterwards, we'll um, watch the medal ceremony, which will be great. People still finishing up running. Uh, just great to see everybody out here today uh, running, walking, and uh, doing everything healthy. So it's uh, catching a little bit. I'm just going to tell you my time. <laughs> just simply because uh, when I tried taking a picture of the mirror, it was like really, really fuzzy. So I'm just going to tell you instead. Time was 21.08 actually overall. So that was good. 10th overall um, for males. And I was first in my age group. So that was great. I got first... First place in my age group, 2108 was my time. Officially 10th overall uh, male finisher. So good run today. Let me mention too, they have a very excellent food spread here. This is yo oh, plain, plain yogurt. And you got blueberries and strawberries you can mix in there. They also got yogurt that has oats in it too. And granola down at the end of it. Of the and line as well. donuts and muffins and an apple. Yep, donuts, muffins, and an apple as well. So mm, I got a muffin, blueberry. So yeah, they got lots of good food here. Uh, this is especially good. I'm enjoying a lot of it. <laughs> and the male division, ages 25 to 29. Third place goes to Andre Mor Moritz. Second place goes to Jake Droz. And third place to Michael Loudon. Hey, Michael. All right, female division, ages 30 to 34. Third period. Here's my medal. After some technical difficulties, we got it straightened out here. Second place to Grant Passarelli. Yeah, birdie. And first place to... That'll do it for this year's edition of the Allegan Strides for Health. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I definitely enjoyed the run. It was a beautiful day. Uh, definitely can't get any better than this. Good time, good consistent time, c consistent pace as well. Very happy with that. And I'd like to thank my wife Kathleen for getting Hi. up with me early in the morning and coming here to cheer me on and yeah. cheering everybody on and filming. So it was great. So don't forget, drop a thumbs up on this video if you enjoy it. And I want to thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe for more content. And follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are in the description below. So next time, this is Michael Lowen. Over now, Mikey Screw you guys are the best. Take care.